What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about Hashirama's birthday. If you guys don't know, his birthday is the 23rd of October, and for some of the people that get confused, right, in Japan, they're, they're like a day ahead of us, so Hashirama's birthday for us would be the 22nd, which, like, that's how they do it, right? So anyways, um, yeah, his birthday is the 23rd, so happy birthday Hashirama or whatever. Um... So, for, since it's his birthday or whatever, I wanted to go ahead and just look at all the Hashiramas we've had over the years and just see how well he has aged as a unit. Now, uh, we did get a new Hashirama. We'll talk about him just a little bit at the end. Um, I, told you, I told you guys I want to get back into making Blazing videos and stuff like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and get back into the thing. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. So, starting off, we have the first Hashirama. This is the Edo Tensei, technically Edo Tensei Hashirama. Um, right here, and like he, when he got his limit break, a lot of people were like really crazy about him because his attack stat was like 2600. Because like all his abilities are attack boost, right? So it's like 2200, 23, 24, 25, 26. So, uh, he was really a lot of people were really crazy about that, but like looking at it now, it's just like this dude is really bad simply because his multipliers are really low. Like, it's all the like killer beast multiplier is five. His ult ultimate multiplier is 5.2 for 12 chakra. Like, it was just, it was not good, right? He did not age well as far as that goes. But, anyways, so yeah, that's that Hashirama. Nothing crazy. Then we get into my main man, my boy. Guys, this was the staple body unit for a very long time. It was, uh, it, how did it go? Who was it? Who was it? Um, it was Killer B for a time because Killer B was one of the only units that could heal whenever he came out. And then once he dropped, it was Hashirama because because PvP dropped right when Hashirama dropped around the same time. And his abilities, right? His abilities were like the really good part about him. Then he's 40 chakra, he heals, yada yada. He was long range, his ult was vast range. He was really good, really, really, really good unit. Then he got his limit break and became even better. 2000 attack stat with long range. Um, like 2500 HP, he does really good damage, he still has field buddy healing, which is always good, his sync skills are pretty good, um, like I said, his abilities were more catered towards PvP, but they were really good for PvE also, especially if you had the last one, and then his, uh, multipliers were good, 4 a chakra, he was just really good, all around, right, like, he was just amazing, I still use him on my body team, till this day, max limit break and everything, so, um, yeah, this, this Hashirama was really, 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 really good. Now, I might drop, like, two or three videos today. Um, I apologize for that in advance, but I have a lot of videos I want to get out, a lot of different, co I might save it, I might save it. I, 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 eh, yeah, I might save it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, Hashirama, blah, blah, blah. I might drop the video tomorrow or something, we'll see. Um, so, yeah. Then we go to this Hashirama, which is the Blazing Bash in his PvE form. Um, I'm only doing this because he's actually a really good unit, right? He has, um, 450 healing. I don't know why I thought I was counting the 300s. Um, yeah, 450 healing a turn, which is really good. 4 8 chakra, damage reduction, um, attack boost. He just, yeah, is really good. Um, and then his jutsus do pretty good damage. His ultimate hits, um, everybody on the map. Everybody. So, that's really, really good also. But, um... A lot of people keep him in his PvP form just because his PvP form is good for PvE and PvP. Uh, 250 turn damage reduction, um, chakra resets, same thing, attack ups, same skills are the same, good multipliers, 4 a chakra. He's, he, all around, he's really, really good. So, um, yeah, a lot of people keep him here. And then we get to the last Hashirama that just released, right? Vast Range, Bravery, Samurai. Hashirama, right? Now, he's vast range, 1,200 attack, well, 1,300 attack stat. Pretty good, vast range, so it's really good. Uh, Field and Buddy are bad. Uh, sync skills are not that, they're, they're pretty good, I'd say. Um, for PvP, actually, they're not that good for PvE, which that's what you're going to be doing for them. Uh, 500, wait, 750? 750 um, healing a turn, wisdom damage reduction, regular damage reduction, 4 8 chakra, really good multipliers. So it's like overall this Hashirama is also good. The only downside is that he's a bravery unit and y'all already know about bravery units. I don't got to discuss it. So yeah, 
Um, over the years, I'd say Hashirama aged very well, right? Over the two years Blazing's been out. Um, for, well, I mean, like, the first Hashirama, you gotta realize, this was, like, one of the first impacts. It was, it was literally, like, Jiraiya, Kushina, Hashirama, Tobirama. Like, those were, like, and I think these might have came out before Kushina, but, like, it was literally those, right? So, um... You can't you can't fault him for being bad. That's just how it is. Uh, body one's still amazing. Uh, heart one's still amazing. This one's still amazing too. And then bravery still good. Just came out. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it over um, just all the Hashiramas in the game. Like I said, happy birthday Hashirama. I will be having a couple videos coming out um, over the next couple of days talking about Hashirama more in depth and just going over some of the things. Um, about Hashirama because I do want to do a couple of those videos. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.